It's the Refined Reseller. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about your eBay seller level. I'm going to take a deep dive into it and I have some questions that I'm going to ask you. But first, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, every eBay seller has a seller level. And here are some questions you need to ask yourself. First, do you know what your seller level is? Do you know how eBay calculates your seller level or determines it? And most importantly, do you know how your seller level affects your eBay sales? Well, to start, there are three eBay seller levels. There is top rated, there is above standard, and there is below standard. So what does each level mean? Well, let's start with top rated. As a top rated seller, which you should do everything you possibly can to achieve, and once you have achieved it, you should do everything you possibly can to maintain it. It's very important that you be a top rated seller. Now, being a top rated seller means that you have exceeded eBay's standards and you create an exceptional buying experience for your customers. To be considered a top rated seller, you have to have more than 100 sales and have sold more than $1,000 over a 12 month period. And of course, that's real easy to do. Now, just to note, if you're just starting out selling on eBay, you start as an above standard seller. You can remain there, you can go up, or you can go down. And believe me, you do not want to go down because the next level is a below standard eBay seller and you want to avoid that at all cost. If it happens, it means you fell below eBay standards and you need to make the necessary adjustments to improve the way you sell. So let's talk about the benefits of being a top rated seller. I'm proud to tell you that I am a top rated seller and have been for a very long time. First, as a top rated seller, you get a 10% discount on final value fees for qualifying items. And that can really add up. Another very important benefit is that your items get ranked higher in search rankings than those who are not top rated sellers. And finally, you get seller protection. That's a little detailed. I'm not really going to dwell into that right now. So you might just have to Google that and get some information on just exactly what kind of seller benefits you get. Now let's compare that to if you are a below standard seller. And here's how you get penalized if you are a below standard seller. You get charged an additional 5% on final value fees. So take a look at this. The top rated seller gets a discount of 10% and a below standard seller gets penalized 5%. That is a 15% difference. And that is huge. Secondly, while top rated sellers are pushed up in search results, below standard sellers are pushed down way down, and sometimes I'm not even sure if their items are seen. And if the issues that are created by a below standard seller are not corrected, the account can be restricted. And believe me, that is not a good thing. So how does eBay determine what type of seller you are? Well, every month you are evaluated by eBay and the evaluation takes place on the 20th of the month. Now, why they chose the 20th, 20th of the month, I really don't know, but they did. So on the 20th of each month, they evaluate you on your performance over the last 12 months, not including the current month. But that's if you have less than 400 sales over the last three months. If you have more than 400 sales over the last three months, like I do, you will be evaluated over the previous three months, not including the most recent month. I hope that's clear to you. So let's do this. Let's go to Seller Hub and take a look at my seller level. And you want to go to your Seller Hub and follow along to see how you stack up against people like me. And we'll just compare. So here I am on Seller Hub. You should go to your Seller Hub as well. I did make my mouse bigger and I made it red, so hopefully you can see it better. So what you need to do is go to Performance and click Seller Level. And we're going to run through each of these. Now, when you get to this page, this is what you see. It has your past seller level, mine is top rated, 
It has your current seller level. I am top rated. And if I were to be evaluated today, I am also top rated. So yeah, as you can see, I'm where I want to be, and I hope that you are too. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into the current seller level. To do that, you click this drop-down menu right here. And we're going to look at some rates here. The first one is your transaction defect rate. As you can see, mine is zero. I have zero transaction defects out of my last 1,000 392 sales. So go ahead and click this drop down menu right here. And we're going to take a look at this. Now, in order to be top rated, you have to have a transaction defect rate of less than 0.5%, which I do. Um, if you have um, a defect rate of more than 2% right here, you are considered below standard. So take a quick look at what your transaction defect rate is. In this time period between November 1st, 2019 and October 31st, 2020, I had zero transactions that were canceled and I had zero cases closed without seller resolution. Um, so let me just, it, it gets a little complicated here. So let me do my best to tell you about this. To be a top rated seller, you have to have a defect rate of less than 0.5% and it includes two categories. Transactions you canceled for being out of stock are cases closed without seller resolution. And I'm going to show you where that kind of comes into play a little bit later. And it kind of says it right here. The transaction defect rate is the percentage of your total transactions that had any one of two defects. And here are the two defects right here that we talked about earlier. These defects often measure how satisfied your buyers were with the transaction, and they don't count more than one defect per transaction. So now let's go to late shipment rate. And as you can see, I have zero late shipments out of my last 1,388 uh, transactions. So how are your, how is your uh, late shipment rate looking? Um, to be considered a top rated seller, your late shipment rate cannot be more than 3%. That is if you ship on time and upload validated tracking are your buyers tell us that the shipment was on time when they leave feedback. If you do that, then you're all set. Let me make a little, a few more comments about this. I have had some late shipments and the reason is I dropped them off at the post office. They were scanned at the post office and they got stuck in a second post office for seven days and they arrived late. So I got a ding on my account in three occasions. But what I did is I called eBay. I told them I did everything necessary as an eBay seller like I promised to do. I shipped them on time and eBay erased the dings against my late shipment rate. As you can see, I have zero. So they took care of that. And if you happen to have a shipment that arrives late, that is not your fault, and it is either the United States Postal Service, FedEx, or UPS's fault. eBay will erase it. Now, that is, of course, if it was scanned. Uh, there is a possibility you could drop an item off at the post office, and it sits there, and it's not scanned for a number of days. So if that happens to you, again, eBay will remove it. Now, let's go to cases closed without seller resolution. Again, I have 0%. Now, this is where it gets a little uh, complicated. The case is closed without seller resolution. If you have 0.3% or less, you are a top rated seller. If you have more than 0.3%, you are a below standard seller. Now, as you can see right here, it has cases closed without seller resolution, and it also has cases closed without seller resolution. These are combined and this is a standalone measurement right here. Just wanted to make that clear. Tracking uploaded on time and validated 362 out of my 362 transactions were done properly. So take a look and see how you did.
uh, whenever I drop down on this to be a top rated seller, you must have a tracked uh, up. You must have uploaded on time and validated at least 95% of your sales. And again, here you can see all of these categories are zero, 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 zero. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing quite well right here. Okay, so now let's look at this. Transaction and sales. I have 1,392 transactions and my sales were $30,978.67. That's over the last 12 months. And I am a top rated seller and my transaction defect rate is 0%. My late shipment rate is 0% as well. Closed cases without seller resolution, zero. Tracking uploaded on time and validated, 100%. Transactions and sales, 1,450 transactions, uh, 32,000. I'm not really sure why this number is different than this number right here. I'm not really sure. Now, here's something that I'm not really understanding. Uh, well, I do understand it, but I don't remember this happening. But anyway, it's showing that one of 400 transactions, uh, the item was returned. And you know what? I think I do remember this. Somebody bought a DVD from me and they got it and they wanted to return it. There was nothing wrong with it, but they returned it because they just didn't want it. One of those you know, eBay buyers that just is, you know, not right. But anyway, uh, mine is 0.25%. And that really is uh, no big deal. Um, I don't think this affects your seller rating. My top rated plus benefits, I get a 10% discount on uh, most items that I have sold. And as you can see right here, out of the items that I have for sale, 1,210 of them qualify for the 10% discount. I do have about 1,350 items listed. So for whatever reason, 100 and something of them uh, do not qualify for the 10% discount. So there you have it, a deep dive into eBay seller levels. And I truly hope you are a top rated seller. If you are not, you need to do everything you possibly can to become one, because if you do so, you're going to save a lot of money and your eBay sales are going to increase. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. I hope it was informative. If so, please take the time to like it and subscribe to my channel. This is the Refined Reseller saying, as always, do like me, buy low, sell high, good sourcing, good selling, and I'll see you next time.